Good morning, everybody. This is Steve Fletcher with The Trumpet for My People. Today is March 28th, 2024, and I want to talk to you about this Code 128 that we saw once again here at the bridge collapse in Maryland at 1.28 a.m. We've been talking about this over the last couple months, and I have seen something today that I want to share with you. Before we get into the new information that I want to share with you, let us go back and see how the 128 hit, uh, code has been used over the last few months. Uh, the first thing that we want to see here is that on October 28th, we had a partial eclipse of the moon, and it was on this day that Israel began its ground invasion of Gaza. The next thing that we saw was the Obama movie, Leave the World Behind, which came out on December 8th, which is another 128. 128. Then we were watching January 28th, and we had this border crisis, all of the states uh, lining up with Texas, and there was fears of a civil war beginning on the border. We were watching January 28th based on 128 and also the connection to Barack Obama on the Torah calendar, the 16th and 17th day of the 11th month, together with Tubi Shavat. Now, all of this was connected to January 28th and the death of Rabbi Kaduri. And also at this time, Obama was revealed as the beast in the movie The Island of Dr. Moreau. And if you look up the number 128, 128 is the Ethiopian. And the interesting thing about Ethiopia is that they have an island, Moreau. The island Moreau is connected with Ethiopia. 128 is the Ethiopian. Okay, Obama being the Ethiopian. And so all of these all of these codes are the arrival of the Antichrist, the Black Messiah, the Ethiopian, and all of this is confirmed by the island of Dr. Moreau. Island Moreau is connected to the Ethiopian. All of these codes were leading to January twenty eighth. Then what happened on January 28th, we had this warning that came out. There was a nuke warning uh, given on January 28th. And so this was a true warning, something that is coming, did not happen on January 28th, but the warning came on January 28th. Biden given chilling nuclear warning over attacking Iran after kamikaze drone kills troops. This came out on January 28th. Okay, the next thing that we see then is that on March 25th, we have a lunar eclipse, which is a warning to the world, especially a warning to Israel. Then on this day, a connection to Israel, connection to the lunar eclipse was at the United Nations. The United Nations voted against Israel on the Gaza ceasefire. And the United States, one of the only times in history, they've stood with Israel basically throughout history, almost on every occasion. There's only been a few occasions that they have not. And this was one of those occasions where the United States did not defend Israel. March 25th, 2024, UN demand for Gaza ceasefire provoked strongest clash between U.S. and Israel since war began because Israel... Um, because you, the United States did not stand with Israel on this occasion. They did not veto this vote. They abstained from voting and allowed the resolution to go forth against Israel. This was on March 25th. Then, then we see another judgment coming on the United States on the very next day. This bridge collapse. This bridge collapse over uh, Baltimore the day after the blood moon and the day after the vote against Israel at the United Nations. So as I looked up this information connected to the uh, vote at the United Nations and the destruction of the bridge the very next day, 
I wanted to look up the uh, time or the uh, mileage from the United Nations to the Francis Scott Key Bridge. And it turns out that it's three hours and 22 minutes from the United Nations to the Francis Scott Key Bridge. Three hours and 22 minutes, just an interesting side note. Okay, so March 25th, lunar eclipse, vote against Israel, the bridge collapse of March 26th, and the bridge collapsed at 1.28 a.m. 1.28 a.m. So we have all of these 128s going back to the lunar eclipse of October 28th, going back to leave the world behind on December 8th, going back to the Ethiopian. All of this really helped us to see the connection to the Ethiopian. The, 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 uh, the 128 brings us to this revelation of Obama being revealed in the island of Dr. Moreau. And when you, when you see that 128 is the Ethiopian, and that Ethiopia is connected to the island Moreau, all of this helped us to see this important code. 128 connected to the black antichrist, the Ethiopian. And now we have the lunar eclipse of March 25th, vote against Israel, the bridge collapse, and the bridge collapsing at 1.28 a.m. Now, Francis Scott Key is, this bridge was named after Francis Scott Key. He was the author of the Star Spangled Banner, so it's connected to the life and death of the United States because he's the founder of the Star Spangled Banner, but he also died on January 11th. And we have been watching not only the 128 code, but we've also been watching January 11th. And so what happens here when we have the connection to the 128 the time of the destruction of the bridge, and January 11th, connected to Francis Scott Key. Well, what we have here is this January 11th is the midpoint of all eclipses, forward and backward. And from the uh, October 28th eclipse and the, the beginning of the, the Gaza ground invasion, 74 days before January 11th, and then 74 days after January 11th is the eclipse. And this uh, vote against Israel, and now the bridge collapse on March 25th and March 26th. So all of this is connected to January 11th. But the next connection to January 11th is the October 14th birth eclipse, 88 days before January 11th, and then 88 days after January 11th is the next eclipse of April 8th, 2024. Now, what I'm going to show you is that April 8th, 2024 is 128. April 8th, 2024 is 128. According to the Torah calendar. Right now, the, the entire world is celebrating Holy Week. Many people say that we are not going to be in Passover and Holy Week until April, till the end of April, middle of April. But right now, the entire world is celebrating uh, Holy Week. So according to the Gregorian calendar and according to the Torah calendar, we are already in the first month. All right. Well, coming up here, leading up to the April 8th eclipse, the 28th and 29th day of the first month is the eclipse according to the Torah calendar. Here we have our 128. And on the Torah calendar, this is the Israel State Holiday Holocaust Remembrance Day. This day, connected to the beginning of this eclipse could very well be the kickoff of the great tribulation it's the 128 that we have been watching 128 
128, 128. All of this connected to the arrival of the Ethiopian on 128. And so all of this here we have connected to this next eclipse on April 8th. The middle point of all the eclipses, we've got October 14th, 2023, the birth eclipse. October 28th, 2023, the lunar eclipse and the start of the Gaza War. Then we have the midpoint of all eclipses which was also another huge marker with the start of the war in Yemen. The United States and Great Britain attack Yemen exactly at midnight on January 11th. 74 days later, we have the events that we've just seen happen, the eclipse, the vote against Israel, the bridge collapse at 1.28 a.m., and the connection to Francis Scott Key on January 11th. January 11th, is the key day, and then we have 128 is the key code. January 11th and 128, and here we have the next eclipse is 128. Okay, so I think this is the information that we have been waiting for, and I think this could be the culmination of everything we've been, they've been leading up to. Starting way back here, with the birth eclipse, the beginning of the war in Israel, the connection to the middle point of all the eclipses. Now we have the Francis Scott Key Bridge, and he died on January 11th. The bridge collapsed at 128. So he had, we have a conjoining of all the of all the signs right now. January 11th, 128, and here we have January 11th and 128, and this leads us right to the eclipse on April 7th, April 8th, and April 9th on the Torah calendar. So this is what I wanted to share with you. I pray you are all blessed. This is Steve Fletcher with the trumpet for my people, the sign of his coming revealed.